This is a unit circle tutorial. Before we begin discussing the unit circle, we want to start by discussing angles in standard position. An angle is in standard position when its vertex lies at the origin of a graph with one ray that lies on the x-axis. Take this angle for example. Here you can see two rays that come together to form an angle. One of those rays lies on the x-axis and the vertice of those two rays lies right here at the origin of a graph in the coordinate plane. Now we refer to the measure of any angle in standard position as theta, and theta can be drawn like this. So theta for this angle in standard position is 135 degrees. Now the initial side of an angle in standard position is the ray from the angle that lies on the x-axis. So in this case, this is our initial side of this angle in standard position because this is the ray that lies on the x-axis. And the other ray is called the terminal side. That's the other ray of an angle in standard position. So if that other angle or ray is the initial side, this one must be the terminal side. Now we also have what's called coterminal angles. Notice that this blue angle in standard position goes in the positive direction, so counterclockwise around the graph and the coordinate plane. If you had gone clockwise or just the opposite direction of that angle in standard position, you'll notice this red angle created that has a measure of negative 225 degrees. Now it's negative because we're going clockwise and it's 225 degrees because that's the measure around here. This is 90, this is 90, which makes 180, and this is another 45 degrees, which makes negative 225 degrees. Now, this angle is called the coterminal angle because it's sharing the terminal side of this angle in standard position. So two angles in standard position that share the same terminal side are called coterminal angles. That makes sense, right? Because they're sharing the terminal side of the angle in standard position. So now that you know everything about angles in standard position, let's take a look at the actual unit circle. Now the unit circle is a circle that has its center at the origin of the coordinate plane and that has a radius of one unit. Notice here that this circle is centered at the origin of the coordinate plane. This is going to be your y-axis and this is going to be your x-axis. So this part right here, the center of this circle, actually lies right at the origin of the coordinate plane. Now the circle also has a radius of one unit, and you can see that because the coordinate point for this point right here is one comma zero, so one to the right and zero up and down. And this point right here has a value of zero comma one, so it's just one unit straight up. This coordinate point right here is negative one comma zero, so just one unit to the left, and this point right here is zero negative one, so just one unit straight down. And those are all points on the outside of the circle, so they're the radius of our circle, which is one. Now the question is, how do you arrive at these values? These values are the value of x and y for this point right here on the circle. So if this is our origin right here, and you followed this ray along at a 30 degree angle, and we know it's 30 degrees because the unit circle has told us that that is a 30 degree angle to arrive at this point on the edge of the circle. So the question is how to arrive at this x and this y coordinate for that point along the edge of the circle. Well notice that this forms an angle in standard position. Here we have a 30 degree angle. We know it's 30 degrees because this line on the unit circle is indicated by the 30 degree measure. And it's an angle in standard position because one of the rays that creates that angle lies on the x-axis, and the vertice of the angle lies at the origin of the coordinate plane. Now the great thing about the unit circle is that finding the x and y values of that point are pretty easy. The x value of that point there on the edge of the circle is simply the cosine of the angle theta in that angle in standard position. So if you were to take the cosine of 30 degrees, 
you're going to get a decimal answer, but that decimal answer is the value of root 3 over 2. You can check that in your calculator. And the y value of that point right there on the outside of the circle is simply the sine of that angle theta, so 30 degrees, the angle of this angle here in standard position. So that's how you find the x and y values of all these different points. The x values, so right here in blue, all the way around this circle, if you just took the cosine of the angle that's being referred to, so that angle in standard position, if you took the cosine of that angle, the value you get would be this value right here on all these points. So if you were to take the cosine of 60 degrees right here, you'd get 1 half. If you took the cosine of 135 degrees, you'd get a decimal value that would be equivalent to negative root 2 over 2. You could go around to any of the angles here in the unit circle, and you'd arrive at that value of the x-coordinate by just taking the cosine of that angle theta in standard position. Now you could arrive at these y values the same way. The y value would simply be taking the sine of all these different angles in standard position. So the y coordinate of all these points that lie on the edge of this unit circle can all be solved by simply taking the sine of that angle. So for example, if you took the sine of 120 degrees, you'd get a decimal value equivalent to root 3 over 2. Now remember, if you want to convert a decimal back into a fraction, you can take a look at our calculator tutorials to teach you how to do that. I'll also show you the other way of doing these so that you get an actual exact value just like this, root 3 over 2. The decimal answer that you get from your calculator when you plug in the sine of 120 degrees is actually an approximate value. This value, root 3 over 2, is an exact value, and I'm going to teach you how to do that right now, how to solve for that exact value on all these different angles. 